Hello everybody, this is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodall. This is John Lundowski. Hey. How you doing, John? Pretty good. Uh, well, you're here to wrap up the, the wolf season uh, with me, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, we're wrapping up things. Uh, you know, you got friends with birthday gifts and summertime's coming, so you got gifts you can give people just to be nice. You can stop over at, um, I don't know, Hockey Locker, uh, 2002 West Tower Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, right across the street from Wilson Park. Yep. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. All right. So, today, the AHL has officially... The Chicago Wolves have officially wrapped up their season. Yep. We get to say that. The AHL ain't done, but the Wolves are. Yep. No playoffs this year equals when you're done, you're done. Yep. So, with that being said, let's Robert, talk. Congratulations to all the players on the division championship. Correct. Um, congrats to the Wolves, our frenemies this year. Yep. Hashtag frenemies. Frenemies. We, we love that joke. We've been running with it all year. Yeah. Uh, the Admirals do it, too. We've right. been doing it. Um, we thank you to everybody who watches us. Yes. But this is our wrap-up for the AHL for the year. Hopefully so we get to see some more of these guys, but maybe at the NHL level, maybe at the ECHL level. Right. I'm not going to be picky. But what I can do is get into the stats. Now, first off, it's just nuts that when you look at this, <laughs> I'll get to it in a second, but the top scorer for the Chicago Wolves was Philip Tomasino. Tomasino played 29 games, 13 goals, 19 assists, 32 points, plus 20 to 43 penalty minutes, four power play goals, and averaging 1.01 points per game. Yep. He gonna be a stud. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep those numbers up. Alrighty. Then we got Tommy Novak. Novak got called up a little bit, but yeah. still put up a blistering 27 games, 8 goals, 24 assists, 32 points, a plus 12, 4 penalty minutes, 3 power play goals, and 1.19 points per game. This is where it gets a little funny. You're telling me in 13 games played, Tanner Janot scored 10 goals, 11 assists, 21 points, a plus 13, 33 penalty minutes, and averaging eight and astounding 1.62 points per game. Yeah. That is just nuts. Kids having one heck of a year. I mean, he's having fun doing it, too. I mean, in our wrap-up, I mean, it is really hard to not say that as far as the whole organization goes, right? Tanner Janot belongs in that MVP slot. Yeah. But, all right, well, while we get into more of that, we've got Anthony Richard. Anthony Richard, he played 28 games, 11 goals, 7 assists, 18 points, a plus 8, uh, 36 penalty minutes, 2 power play goals, 1 shorthanded goal, averaged about 0. .64 points per game. Not really all that great, not that horrible. No. Alright, then we have Frederick Allard. Allard got, uh, has been up and down a little bit too. Yeah. Um, he had 25 games played. Three goals, 15 assists, 18 points in 25 games. Not bad. A little higher on the average than normal for him. Yeah. Uh, then we had uh, Sean Malone. Sean Malone. He's played 23 games with uh, five goals, 10 assists, 15 points. Right. All right. Now, that's not to say that we don't got guys elsewhere, because we do. We do. But... 
I can't yank all those stats because I don't remember where they are. And it's kind of hard to do all that when we get into that kind of stuff. So up next we get to Red Pitlick. Red Pitlick played eight games, had, had ten points. Right. Eight goals, two assists, and a plus eight with a 1.25 points per game. Cole Smith, he played 23 games, had five goals, five assists, minus one. Right. 0.43 points per game. Not horrible, not great. No. Jeremy Davies, nine games, nine assists, plus ten. Averaging a point per game. No wonder he didn't have to go back down. Josh Healy, having a really good year. 33 games, two goals, four assists, six points. Plus a minus three, not bad for him on the normal. No, not bad at all. 70 points, 70 penalty minutes. That's normal. Mark Delgazio. Mark Delgazio signed late in the year. Yes, out, of col- out of college. Nine games played, five assists. Right. Zach Solo, Admiral signee for next year. No, I'm not going with the Luke and Han Solo. Don't get me started on last year's draft. Right. Because we drafted like four Lukes in the last year. Yeah, we really have. But anyway, with that being said, he had, uh, Zach Solo had 13 games played, two goals, three assists, five points, minus three for a rookie. Not bad. Luke Evangelista. Right. Finally hit the age where he could sign his AHL, come to the AHL. 14 games played, four goal, four assists, four points, minus one, four power play points. Right. Alrighty. Lucas Craigs, seven games played, two assists, plus two. Right. Patrick Harper, 15 games played, two assists, minus five. Alexander Carrier, three games played, one assist, <laughs> yep. plus three. Alrighty. Tyler Lewington. Three games played. No points. Alright. Now we get to the de- attendees. The goaltenders. We only got two. And they only played a combined seven games. And tell me why they didn't play as good in front of them as they played elsewhere. And the other team. Okay, he got traded. He's still over there. Um, I will pull that up momentarily. Okay. Alrighty. So we got Devin Cooley. He played two games, averaging three goals against per game. What two wins? Yeah. And we got Connor Ingram. He played five games. He went one, three, and one. Let's be real here. There ain't no way you can tell me that he wanted to be there. Right. After how he treated the Wolves last year. Yeah. He had two shutouts against the Wolves last year. Yeah, he did. Um, I I honestly think that there's still hope for him, but he's definitely got to get his confidence back. Yeah. Alright, so in other news, we've got a couple other players to look up here. We've got... Uh, Tucson. So we had two players with Tucson Roadrunners. And Florida Everblade signee Cameron Hebig played 27 games, 3 goals, 7 assists, 10 points. So Everblades, there's some love. Yeah. Alrighty, then we've got... Josh Wilkins, 24 games, 3 goals, 2 assists, 5 points minus 4. Michael Kirkcone. There he is. Whoa! (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Michael Kirkcone, 34 games played, 15 goals, 8 assists, 23 points, and minus 13. Ouch, but then again, Tucson kind of... This year. Alright, what else we got here? Texas. 
stand with the cheese, huh? <laughs> well, tee it up, Johnny. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. <laughs> All right, well, with that being said, Cole Schneider played 36 games, 11 goals, 16 assists, 27 points. All right. All right. Whoa, the Vampire Diaries. <laughs> I joke, I joke, I kid, I kid, I kid. Understand that when you type in Matt Donovan, uh, the Vampire Diaries do pop up. Yeah. All right, Matt Donovan. He is currently under the uh, Admiral's uh, control. He is out of, playing out of country. He plays for HV71 in the Swedish Hockey League. Let's check and see how he did. He played 12 games, had 2 goals, 5 assists, 7 points, and a plus 1. Yep. He had 2 playoff games, no points. While we're here, and for ha-has while we're at it all... <laughs> I kind of want to check something since we're doing this. Because I want to give you an update on some other little bits of info. Wolves fans, I hope you appreciate this stuff because this may not pertain to you at all. Yeah. So consider this a free scouting report. I'm never doing it again. All right, so Yusuf Parsonen is uh, the leading point getter this year out of all the Admirals pro uh, Predators prospects with 42 points, 8 goals, 34 assists. Right. Um, that being said... Oh, there it is. Vladislav Yerminko, uh, they have officially completed their KHL season. The playoffs are also done. Okay. Um, he played 44 games, 4 goals, 5 assists, 9 points, and a plus 6. Goal tender. Um, I got nothing. So, with that being said, that's all we got for you. Yep. John will see you guys tomorrow or today, depending on when I get the energy to get this uploaded. So, please bear with us if you've stuck with us this long. Yep. And please enjoy all of our content. We worked really hard today. Yeah. So, for those of you that get content over the next couple of days with us, we have been working really hard over here. Trying to catch up on everything. Yeah. Let's never do this again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm not referring to you, Wolves fans. Consider yeah. our frenemy hinge relationship <laughs> over. <laughs> See y'all. Y'all rock. Later. <laughs>